Hello, 안녕하세요. I'm Terry and welcome to Terry's Home Cooking. Today I'm going to show you how to make sundubu. Sundubu is a spicy tofu soup made of soft tofu and usually has kimchi, meat, or seafood. Today I'll be making plain sundubu that's really easy but still flavorful and yummy. First, get two cups of water and turn on the heat to high. Add in the kelp and scallion. You can just rip the scallion with your hands. Close the lid and boil for about 15 minutes. The broth should reduce to about one cup. After 15 minutes, turn off the heat. In the meantime, we're going to cut the onion and scallion. Mince the onion first. Remove the stem from the scallion. Cut off the white part. We're going to put them together with the onions. And we're going to use the green part for the garnish. Chop into thin slices. For the tofu, I like to put it in a separate bowl since there's a lot of extra liquid. Also, if you open it directly into the pot, it might overflow. Cut the top part completely. And cut about halfway at the bottom so it doesn't explode everywhere. Place it into a bowl and put it aside. Now we can start cooking. I like to use a tukbegi or earthenware pot, but you can use whatever pot you have. Turn on the heat to medium low and add the oil first. Add in the onion and scallion. Then add the garlic and stir fry. Stir fry for about a minute and add the kochukaru or pepper flakes. Doing this will make a nice aromatic, flavorful oil. Continue to stir fry another minute, making sure it doesn't burn. Add in one cup of broth we made earlier and mix around.
Let it come to a boil. Once it starts to boil, add in salted shrimp, soy sauce, salt, and pepper. Mix around and let it boil again for a minute or two. Now, scoop in the tofu and try to avoid getting any extra water into the soup. Boil for another 2 minutes. Don't boil too long or the tofu will break down and the soup will become bland. Sundubu usually comes with an egg. This trick I learned is supposed to stop the egg from falling to the bottom. Let the egg white fall first and gently place the yolk on top. Don't worry, just use a spoon to bring it back up. Now, add the scallion garnish on top. Turn off the heat and we're done. Looks so yummy. Get some rice and dig in. It's so good. The broth is much deeper and yummier since we added the salty shrimp and soup soy sauce. Thank you so much for watching. If you try this at home, please leave a comment down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more simple Korean recipes. See you next time guys! and the soup will become blendy. Blendy. <laughs> Very blendy. And gently place the yolk on top. Yolk on top. Let the egg white fur first and fur. <laughs> Let the egg white fur first and gently Aish. Remove the stem from the success. <laughs> From the what? <laughs> From the s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s